So in this video, we are going to <clears throat> take a look at uh, Microsoft Teams and go through everything in there. So if we go to, let me go here. That's the Teams right there. Oh, there's a whiteboard. I'm going to ch check it next, but let's go to the team. Once we click on team, if you don't know how to go there, it's you have to go to office.com, you have to log in with your credentials, and <clears throat> uh, then you get to the team uh, admin center. But I'm assuming you already know that. <clears throat> so over here, uh, if you remember from my previous videos, we have... Uh, we created channels uh, sorry groups and then channels so <clears throat> you see this is the channel in that group and then this department has this group and you can create the general channel is always going to be there and you can create more channels and it's like a collaboration platform with a social media touch <clears throat> so it says create more channels or open the FAQs and we are right now in here if I click in here go to general it will change and I have some uh, of the past uh, messages in here and then you can see uh, like how to reply uh, and all that but uh, our focus is going to be in this uh, in this video series is how to manage from the admin center <coughs> So over here we have different things. So let's go in admin center, admin. <clears throat> and then we can go to all admin center in here. Team has, okay, team admin center is right here. And you see this is admin.teams.microsoft.com. So this one, you'd see this interface is different than this one so this one is just teams.microsoft.com and you can log into your account you can uh, see the messages and you can reply to them but this is the admin center that we want and we want to go one by one here <clears throat> so if you want uh, this uh, interface I can give you an overview this is chat so anybody that you uh, are is a member of your team or you are a member of their team you can have all of them here and you can chat with them so it's like you are basically in IT department but sales department needs your help with some of the project they add you to their group so you'll have two groups here one is the IT group that you belong to and then the sales group that you are a temporary member of <clears throat> so you can have all everyone here this is the teams like this is exactly what I was just talking about. You're part of these teams, and then you have access to all of them. But uh, if you look, if uh, another user is only part of this, then or this one, then they don't have access to these two. So it depends like how many uh, teams you are a member of. And then here is your calendar that you have, and you can manage. You can. Uh, add new meeting here you can add title you can say team meeting who is the attendee uh, if this one is if you want uh, somebody to be there <clears throat> for example uh, you are a member you're you're a member of a team that has five people and out of that you want a certain person to be there to um, uh, to <clears throat> give a presentation or give an update to the rest of the team so the other four yes if this they 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 may be able to <clears throat> not participate in that meeting but this person that you tell that must be there you uh, will make them you know send them a notification hey we need you at this time and there then this is the dates March 31st is it's, it's today but you can go with the other one like any other day and all day whatever you want to do you can change it you can go and you can put that in advance on 1st of May from it should be in the a.m. but so like 8 a.m. to 
10 30 for two hour 30 minutes we'll be there or if it's like an <clears throat> if it's like a hiring event then you can put it like the whole team of hr or the hiring manager or recruiter uh, you, you are part of them then everybody should need to be out then you can sit put the all day and you can at them so this way the system knows that uh, <clears throat> the whole team is going to be out uh, on doing this uh, thing and you can s put here her hiring event <clears throat> so that's how uh, does not repeat so uh, if if you are a in a uh, business that has a high turn around <clears throat> like call centers usually do have so then you can say hey it's every weekday what day daily weekly whenever if it's like uh, or if it's like your team meeting like you <clears throat> you your team has a mandatory meeting every week like we do we have a meeting every uh, Monday uh, mine is every Monday other people have different days <clears throat> so yes so every day then it puts an in your calendar for others to know that hey this time this you will not be uh, available this is the ad channel you can add the channel over here like if I say let's say desktop support that's what uh, I do add location you can add location like room 302 so for teams you should have that room created in somewhere else that uh, uh, if you watch my 365 series videos there is a link for uh, creating the exchange and in there there's so this is room gets reserved for you I just typed it in but if there was a room created with an email address for that room you are uh, reserving this resource for your thing whatever it is it's a hiring event or is a meeting and <clears throat> during this time and that will tell if any, anybody else tried to reserve this room on this day it will they will not be able to and that room gets reserved for you every department every building <coughs> uh, all, have a few meeting rooms uh, i would say more than five six that uh, they have different capacity like uh, meaning how many chairs they have and all that so our largest room i think can hold uh, 50 or 60 70 people uh, and the smallest room can accommodate a dozen of people uh, at least a dozen so that you see <clears throat> that's how uh, they are so each room will have its own name and uh, resource uh, email and that's how you reserve them and then you will write the detail hiring event interviews will be processed you know processed or will be conducted here <clears throat> so in our uh, like when our hiring event starts there's there are like smaller interview room that are very small that only you know the they're like s small rooms uh, made of glass in a big room and then there is a meeting room where all the uh, attendees sit together and then one by one they get well, first they get to the interview second they get to see a manager and then they get go to see HR in a different uh, room and you see so at that uh, time the whole floor is very busy <clears throat> so you want to make sure that you uh, do this lastly is files like we can discard it how I could save it for future but okay that's okay lastly is files like the files that you upload or you share in this manner you can get me uh, if you can get up get to share a file from your OneDrive. if I have anything in there I think I uploaded some but that could be another account <clears throat> so you can upload here from uh, from here as well or you get to share from here like copy link and do that and then Microsoft teams these are the files that you shared in different uh, groups or channels for that matter so they get here and it's like a way of uh, you tracking everything and then there is an ad cloud storage like if you have a Google one or Dropbox where he, or Google is there as well so if you like a Dropbox link you can that <coughs> Citrix has a share file as well okay not lastly this is an apps that you can use I haven't uh, indulged in that yet 
so this is the overview of your theme uh, interface or more like a desktop for the teams that you can interact and for the people who will be managing that will be the dashboard for the team uh, admin we will go over that next if this video has helped you please read comment subscribe and share and i will be making more videos about the, the admin dashboard for teams uh, next